G'day guys, welcome to Langris for 1v1 Valkyrie game. We are continuing on in match number two in group B. Nat Nat, the English Bulldog versus Godwin, the English gentleman. Godwin going hungry again with an assault squad. A few singles, a veteran Rafferman going to the center, I'm guessing. Then the center, a regular squad, UK for Nat Nat. And a few single SMGs, or quite a lot of single SMGs. So regular squad going to meet the... Um, assault Squad and Veteran Rifleman in the center. Let's see how this hands out. Both taking the opposite ends, shooting at a horizontal angle towards each other. Grenade from that, that hits the mark. God will return the favor with his Veteran Assault Rifleman, that is. I guess they stack stacking. This guy is actually safe from firepower because of that little rake, farming rake over there. That, that pushing in some more. On the ends, I can see this side going to be decided perhaps two on one now. This guy's already dead and looks like that will get the that side there and probably the western as well as a three on one there so center yeah we'll decide if godman can hold on to one flag at the start and that capping that as well and over here that pushing off godman's remaining troop onto the right point and decent shootout at the moment these these guns actually not uh, firing the rifles okay the, the rifles aren't in range and that these guys are in the range of the SMGs, so they're proving to be a bit more efficient at the moment. But uh, three cap, uh, no, not on. Godwin has managed to hold this flag. And that's got two guys there now being controlled, and he should be able to dispatch this guy. There you go, so he should be able to cap the three cap. Uh, Godwin, though, reinforcing now with another assault squad. But it's going to be quite hard to engage this uh, regular squad, which is in a good position. But uh, Godwin doing a nice job, sneaky capping the center behind the rake. We have to evade the shots, you can see the bullets bouncing off that rake. Got a few guys over here doing a bit of damage, now that we'll have to rat him out with a grenade. A nice throw. Oh, this guy runs all across, doesn't matter, gets shot up while he does. Uh, assault squad from Godwin trying to flank that position, not going to do a bit of a dangerous push. Not, not uh, throwing through grenades to send them away. But the potential a good flank right now. This MG is actually focused on the other side. Nat Nat really throw another grenade to counter and we'll do a nice one. Nice anti grenade taking quite a bit. Uh, Rifleman here not, not be able to do enough damage to destroy that line. But imagine an MG right there. Da -da 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 -da. It will be a perfect flanking line over here to that position. Perhaps that's the route he, he should have used. But Nat Nat also has a guy back here which could prove to flank those guys. So uh, nice positioning from Nat Nat I guess. So he's coming up with another regular squad down the center. Eastern Point Godwin has managed to wrestle it off Nat Nat with a veteran rifleman and now the assault squad coming back to his horizontal stone wall as Nat Nat's regular squad another one two MGs and a bit of a crossfire into that second center point it makes it hard for Godwin to do much and uh, down here there's getting shot up by one guy and it really just you just need one guy in one position and somewhere else and he can draw the fire away from someone so many other troops as you can see and they put it off with a grenade, but he's the hero of the day, perhaps. The Cespel won special points, the Hungarians do field. It's a unique unit, I suppose. Any other nation is France that has a 20 mil for their one special point unit. Compared to other one special point units of the vehicle variety, like the Chinese Panzer 1 with MG42s, or MG34s, or I think it is. The Cespa is definitely a very powerful one special point, so definitely something he needs on this map. We should take out the MGs. So it's going to be uh, all Econ from Nat Nat, can counter that, and also infantry. A good choice, always a safe choice, a classic choice for UK, being able to take light vehicles out and also uh, be useful after that, taking out the uh, infantry as well. It's a very uh, counter orientated map, this uh, Langris. A bit slow paced, as you saw with Konos vs. Dedessa, with the sniper count, uh, countering. So it, you can, it can kind of work out as a thinking man's game, because you've got to think your buys out and, and uh, really plan ahead in terms of your choices. It's at the start now. Uh, Godwin somehow has managed to get this uh, point back with the 20mm support. I think the MGs looks like they have been taken out. Let's check the floor. Yep, the Bren's there. One Bren over here. So that Bren has been taken out. Now Nat Nat with his uh, Olicon. <laughs> uh, Cespa has noticed in time and is able to reverse out of the range. 
and perhaps they'll move to another flag. The thing is with uh, this mod, the penetration uh, ranges max after max is reduced to zero. So there's no real fast shooting for penetration wise, so Olicon can't do that, can't do the fast shooting. Though HE damage uh, can still happen at uh, from ranges further than max, and that's why the AT guns have been buffed to have uh, 10 extra range. Uh, AT right from that, that, not satisfied with the Olicon's performance. He needs to take it out with the AT rifle. Eastern Point, looks like Godwin has consolidated his position a lot better. Got the paratroopers with the Mazden LMG. I'm not too sure how good this MG is. Looks like a Bren. Uh, let me know if you know actually where that MG stands in the hi hierarchy of, I suppose, uh, regular MGs. Is it better than a Bren or the same? Got a Toldy 31. Oh, what the hell is that? That's a Toldy with a oh, 40 millimeter gun. Counted the Olicon there. You can see it's flaming wreckage. And that, that was a six pan now coming up. So he's lost the initiative, losing that Orlycon, and hasn't got an infantry killer. Now coming down to this flag with the Black Watch, Godwin's Ford Advanced Paratrooper squad is noticing them, but they're out in the open, and now these guys, Lewis Gun is now firing and should be able to put these guys away quickly. Now Godwin fleeing with his life. I'm going to try to conserve these troops to fight in more closer ranges. Falling back to the two Mazden LMGs waiting. And it's going to be a pretty good uh, fight, or pretty hard fight, I think, for the Blackwatch to get in there. They'll centre point, let's see how it's going. Natna is managing to be a bit of a hassle still, even with Goblin's superior firepower in the centre with uh, the 20 mil. Cespa 39 taken out by the 6 pounder Toldy 38M, the next target. Natna uh, already relocating this in case a fire shot happens. A lot of haystacks here that can be used to take that out with the HE shell. Totally, you know, pulling away, but that Nat doesn't have any troops left in the center of the assault. Let's have a look at this area, how it goes. Nat Nat is advancing on the eastern side, not having too much luck. So he does need to win this game. He's got a good lead, 40 to 0, but Godwin, I think, is going to start ticking up after he gets a center point. And he's also getting this point. He may even get a 3 cap. There's a LMG here, the ZP, ZBV Z. Are these the powers? They're two, two stars. They're probably just the regular squad, I think. So it needs to win this game, I suppose. Godwin, uh, yeah, I guess, I don't know, because Flapperjack uh, did beat Mr. Pringle, so it's it's really all open for anyone to get through this group, so it's, it's really essential to win all your games, to be honest, as uh, you never know who will get through. Uh, we've got Nat Nat with his uh, another regular squad. He seems to like the regular squads as UK. Perhaps this is the map for it, I guess, because it's got long ranges. Enough rifles to do that. Enough rifles to do long range shooting. And just that MG to, to just suppress and to do damage to any charging units. Assault squad from Godwin. Still spamming those assault squads. So uh, choosing a total different. Uh, Different uh, uh, choice, I suppose. Maybe he's Hungary, he likes the LMGs of the Hungary. Sorry, or the SMGs of the Hungary. Here comes a Toldy 31.8M, 6 pounder in the wrong position. Can actually turn now, it's getting pretty close to the range of that 6 pounder. Oh, grenade misses entirely. Toldy doing some decent damage with his fast gun. Nat Nat coming in with an SMG guy with a grenade on the side. Can the Toldy run away? Oh no, it does not. Nicely put away. And there goes the turret sliding down the rear. And staying at the arse end of the tank. And that now with an uh, interesting decent flank I suppose on those barrels. It, Not a full flank as it's got the house covered but uh, he can use the house as well for a bit of cover so he can just run across now throw a grenade over and finish that LMG. Godwin notices it and relocating back to the other stone wall. This guy is out of grenades and can't do it once again. But, uh, these guys now back in the firing position. And I hear a vehicle coming. Is that that another Chubba? No. It's uh, interesting, but two around 40 m 75 mm It looks like the SPG variety. If you're thinking about the Germans, they're just like the German Panzer I'm guessing. That, that still holds on to this uh, left-hand side area of the center. But Godwin doing very well to somehow just sneak guys in and start uh, annoying that Nat. And holding on to the side flag still. Miraculously, the numbers are definitely against him. 
This one LMG that survived now is uh, going to be the unit that is going to hold this flag and it was just so close to being killed. Just little clutch plays like that just decide to decide the game to be honest. 27 to 40, 6 Panet trying to get around perhaps to get a shot maybe can through this uh, this area. It's got that awkward engine exposed for some reason. So Panzer N doing it's just going to try support the left somehow. Oh, my nice shot. God, we quite quick on the move to evade grenades on that net. This guy has no more grenades again. Oh. Gets taken out. Uh, another rifle, veteran rifleman supporting the left hand side, single infantry. Center now is uh, being pounded by that 2 round 2, takes out the cover. Brent did massive damage to the SMG guy's side. But no sniper play from these guys compared to the other team. But oh, side shot from that Nat. It's got a perfect side. Oh, is that tracked? No, it's not tracked. Uh, bad luck in that Nat. Oh no. Oh, unlucky. He escaped with the skin of his teeth. Now he's got the two houses to shoot to, to hide behind. And uh, oh, he's going to display it safe. Maybe come out again for a peekaboo shot. Take it out. Another shot. Boom. SMG crew. SMG guy trying to get in there so he can move and relocate. Only one guy. Can't carry the one finally he's moved, but it's too late, it's been decrewed, and now that two and three, two and two, I mean, 40M will just uh, be able to shoot that without retaliation from it. Let's see, the next shot I say it's going to hit. Oh, it, doesn't hit, it hits, but it doesn't kill. I'm going to bank on the next shot. No, that, that has escaped, and it's not damaged either, so it's going into the, to the workshop on what do you call this area. The workshop area. Government. <laughs> that, that's snapping. It's on hold fire. It's not. Uh, he's not actually controlling it. And that uh, Panzer N does see it. Not sorry, Panzer N. The two and two does see it. But uh, he's actually changing his targets now. Shooting on to support this flag. Whoa! In fact, one grenade took out like five guys of Godwins. Must have been on uh, the center flag or something. Kind of get into a very good ambush position, and uh, Goblin will have to be very lucky to get out this one. It's the shot. <laughs> Nicely done from Nat Nat. Miraculously survived. I suppose the first time he had a perfect side shot of Nat Nat. Uh, sorry, of Goblin's tank first. I guess it's dessert. Finally worked in his favour. Goblin with the conscript squad, and also uh, oh, an officer. Wow. Interesting buy at 13 minutes in the game, very early. Uh, the payback, it's going to get more payback, but uh, put a bit of investment in there. It's a good 400, and I think it's gone up in this mod. A good, um, hmm, where is it? 420 MP, it's a pretty big one, especially in 1v1s. But uh, it's actually, actually not even doing anything, it's not even using its binoculars anywhere. Uh, loses the left hand side of finally. Chepper in the center, gets killed by that 6 panel right away, 45 to 40. Godwin leads, but not for long as Nat Nat looks strong on all flag points. Has a crew AA 20 mil as well, plus the 6 pounder, which is a very good combo. 20 mil can just uh, play in the areas, the 6 pounder is ready to ambush anything that tries counter, counter it. Our officer still not being used, Godwin just uh, moving in with his uh, conflict squad. Marker in this one left country squad to throw a grenade on the SMB. Seems rather fruitless. Fruitless uh, adventure, but uh, somehow he manages to sneak in. It's an interesting, uh, hmm, it's an interesting feature of the map. You can seem like you can just sneak in there quite easily and cap. Um, why? Maybe because of these stone walls? I don't know. Or oh, lots of bushes to hide behind. And that runs in there though. Point blank shoots him dead. And now. Um, Back to the majority of cap, I guess. Uh, right side now in jeopardy. Perhaps uh, Nat Nat's going to assault it. He's going to come by with ooh, a lot of Delal rifles. It's a single veteran rifleman. UK have the best veteran rifleman in the game, but also the most expensive, as you can see, at 35 MP. Not exactly your, hmm, your cheap variety. Godwin, 
one uh, LMG here with this uh, the lull, some the lull flanking. That <laughs> finish off with a grenade. That got them fleeing with his life. One one with the lull shot. These guys are doomed. For some reason these the lull rifles aren't firing. Is it another the lull guy? No, nope, they're not really being, they're not very accurate, are they? Nimrod from Godwin? You have to do, ooh, interesting battle here. Crusader AA doesn't know it's there, I think, because it wouldn't be coming this close. Oh, here it's in decent range now. This uh, crew AA is going to be a bit scared, but this Nimrod's going to be a bit uh, careful too, because the Crusader AA can penetrate the turret at quite far range. I'm not sure exactly what range, but he's still firing. Let's see, perhaps it can take it out soon. It's a bit of a decline too, so it's hard to tell. It's actually right underneath the pier, so I don't think it can actually penetrate it. And the six pounder now will be relocating. It's actually not relocating, and it's really far away, so perhaps it's not. Oh, dum dum! Lost the turret and gun. Forced to hide below the pier. This is a very interesting hiding tactic. Six pounder on the move? No, still not on the move. Okay. Uh, Microing his infantry, I guess, to cap this flag. Gonna try to get a 3 cap, 49 to 45. Nimrod will be able to. Yep, finishes off the commando and AT rifle support guy. Crew AA forced to pull back. Godwin moving in his conscripts. Interesting, conscripts and assault squad spam, it seems, from Godwin, with a few paratroopers uh, here and there with uh, for the for their elite status. But mostly going Assault Squad and Conscripts in this game. This side is held by two Black Watchers. Lewis Gun, Lewis Gun. Should be strong. Six Panda now. I'll try to take a side shot from here. It's quite far away from anything. Oh, this Delar Rifle guy. Choop, 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 choop. Four, four choops in his favor. <laughs> yeah, sounds so, sounds so cool. I just like that silence. Silence again. Officer, ah, do they not have binoculars anymore or something? Because that's definitely something I'll be trained on to just search for where the six pounder is and always have my eyes on there so I'm, I can quite easily kill it. <laughs> Got a Hetzer now and it's in jeopardy. Oh, lucky. Perhaps uh, it's looking at the wrong thing. I think six pounder has got its eyes trained on this Nimrod. So Nimrod's kind of stuck in there. But uh, once it fires, uh, Hetzer will be able to kill it. That position there. Have to shoot down this way. Suppose this side too is quite precarious. Uh, but both sides really have some decent stone walls to really shoot behind. Six pounder. Just relocating to perhaps a safer position behind this barn. Oh no, not really safe. Godwin! Oh, oh! Just a Molotov. He's got no. He's got a grenade or not? He's an SMG guy. He should. That's an AP grenade. Oh, it's, it's a down. It's not down. But he's got another one. Let's see if he takes it out. Oh, it's. Is it finished? Uh, that's the car. Yeah, that's the what's on the map now is a car. Yep, it's finished. That can't be repaired. <laughs> Officer still not doing anything. Huh, interesting. Uh, Godwin pushing up with uh, some conscripts. Got that comet there. This uh, deep hits that Nimrod's turret and takes out the Nimrod from the side. Hits it. May even try play. No, it's not going to dare. Going to move away. Quite an expensive buy here from that net. 750 MP. Got those icons here. I thought these icons were meant to be pro. <laughs> Just because this is me from my icons in World at War, because it takes it does take me. It taught me how to do icons, and I did them really quickly, like five minutes for each one. It takes takes him an hour for one because it's uh, really high quality, apparently. I I do think they are, but look at that, the colors not even matching. What's wrong with that? So it takes an hour, mate. No excuse there. <laughs> Hits are coming in. Just um, so I had to put my little rant in there. We've got a little uh, memo war going on in Jitska. He started it, by the way, so I get to put my little two cents in that video. That's it, and Comet. Comet. Have a shot. 
I think the, yeah, the Comets definitely has an advantage in the Hetzer. I don't think the Hetzer can win this battle at all. What the? It's nothing. It's a range in the, the Comets 140, I think. Uh, it's 130, okay, it's the same as the Hetzer, I believe, then. Hmm, interesting. Seventy six forty five in Nat Nat's favor. Infantry wise on the right, it's uh, decent decently held by Godwin. He's got a nice little Danuvia SMG guy with a Panzer Shrek, and he's ready. He's definitely ready for action. The infantry around may spot him soon. Uh, no real options. Oh, here comes a bit an option here for God, for Godwin coming in with a regular squad on the left, two Lewis guns. So I think he may struggle in that uh, battle, but he oh bounces. Oh, there goes the headset. Godwin has lost his headset, and what has he bought now? A two and three. Interesting. This has got 80, 80 armor hull and eighty armor turret. Similar gun to the Panzer H. It's a similar tank to the Panzer H. It's a stronger turret. I don't know. Is it actually going to win this the comic? That's a strange one. I don't know. I wouldn't think no, but. Maybe it can. Maybe it will. Um, oh, look at that! Godwin, that's oh, his two hand just... Oh, that's an easy put away. Look at that. The 80 armor, yeah, maximum range. Comet can't get killed maximum range by two and three. That's just a knowledge thing that Nat Nat at uh, Godwin would have lapsed there. But, uh, oh, so gun. Wow, look at the score. 3,200 to 1,820. Not looking good for Mr. Godwin here. Not too much firepower at the moment, but Godwin's trying to change this with a flank of a grenade. One Lewis gun down. Crusader AA 20mm is now reinforcing, and that's going to put Godwin's plans to a complete halt. Now they're just going to flee with their lives, try to save them for a later assault. I don't know if God can afford much because he's bought an officer as well and just lost a Hetzer and a two round three. He's definitely not got anything. He probably hasn't got any MP for anything uh, to counter anything. He can't win the tank battle for sure. There's no way he can afford a tank bigger than a Comet now after losing all that. So he'll need to actually play uh, 80 infantry perhaps. So an 80, 80 um, gun to take out the Crusader 20 mil. And move, move it and relocate before the comet can find it. And perhaps, uh, yeah, perhaps just go elite infantry to just try steamroll one side. Ninety-one to forty-five doesn't look good. Godwin going the elite eighty infantry. Perhaps just going to try punch a hole somewhere. Just run through. Just get shot. Use the hit points of these elite infantry. But uh, I really doubt he'll do much. They're really slow right now, running running out of stamina at 93 to 45. He hasn't really got much time to move on the flag. It looks like that, that may take this out, so make, make it a one all to, to these guys. It's good to see though Godwin taking at least one game. A lot of, uh, to say, a lot of ups upsets in this tournament so far. Actually not doing anything at all with this guy yet, so... 96 to 45, looks like he's given up. Uh, Nat Nat's just buying, out buying him. That Comet really just, just really was unable to be counted and Godwin fed that Comet because there's a situation where you buy tanks and you can just ignore it. Like Hansi did, ignored all my big guns and made it useless. Well, that Comet proved to be a really expensive, was is an expensive buy, but made its worth because uh, Godwin sent units to it, which had a low chance of killing it. And has no money now. AT rifle. Try to take out the AA for a consola consolation prize, perhaps. Get the turret. That's uh, that's uh, that's an end to that. Good game to go to Nat Nat. He redeems himself in this game. One all. It's going to be interesting to see who comes out of Group B.